Stock Market Investing 101, how to buy and sell shares. Okay, so in this video, Stock Market Investing 101 Part 2, we will look at three steps at getting into the stock market, how to buy and sell stocks. We'll also look at uh, my two trading platforms that I use. So in Australia, I use CMC Markets. Uh, that's a platform uh, stock brokerage that I use. Uh, and in that, you can actually, for my fellow Australians, if you want to invest in the US market, you can actually do it through your CMC account. Um, but I don't. I have a bank account. I bank with Wells Fargo and I have a bank, with, uh, bank account with Citi in the US. And I also have a TD Ameritrade account that I use over there. I used to use Charles Schwab uh, when I first started investing in the US many, many years ago. But now I use TD Ameritrade. Uh, I do have a couple of other uh, brokerage accounts, but they're for different purposes, and I'm currently not using those at the moment. Uh, but you can use any trading platform that you like. Uh, they're all very similar. Um, I use CMC here in Australia. My business partner uses Comsec. So whichever platform you use is fine. But in this video, I just want to give you guys an example of the CMC market uh, platform setting up an account, how to place a trade, the different tools that they have on there. And the same thing with TD Ameritrade, uh, setting it up, how to use the tools on there. So it's just an introduction to those two uh, platforms. So with that, let's get into the video. Welcome to getting into the share market. You want to make your first share market investment. This tutorial will help you get the essentials covered. Step one, getting ready. First up, you need to have it clear in your mind why you want to start investing. Do you have a goal for your investing? You will need to have a plan for achieving this goal. All investing involves risk. Have you thought about the risks of investing in the share market? Watch our series of tutorials to make sure you have the basics covered. Plus, we encourage you to have a look at our free shares course. The course goes into these topics in more detail and includes exercises and quizzes to reinforce your knowledge. And, for some practical experience before you start investing, the ASX share market game lets you experience the real market without the risk. Step 2. Invest. Any journey starts with a single step. For your first investment, decide on an amount that you are comfortable spending. The more money you invest, the greater your exposure to share market risk. And remember, the greatest risk is the complete loss of your money. Placing an order to buy shares is not as hard as you might think. You can choose your shares and place your orders through an online broker. Or you can use a broker who will recommend suitable investments and do the buying for you. Getting set up with a broker takes time. You will need proof of identity and your bank account details. For more on this, watch our tutorial called How to Buy and Sell Shares. After you have traded, record what happens. How did you feel? What are you going to do next? Check all the paperwork you receive and prepare a file for it because you will need these details at tax time. Step 3. Getting Better the best way to get better is to review your decision-making each time you invest. You should also think about what sort of portfolio you would like to build. This could mean accumulating a combination of different shares and other assets, like fixed interest securities and property. By diversifying, you can help to smooth out the ups and downs that all investments experience over time. As your confidence as an investor grows, don't lose sight of the key principle, which is to manage your risk. Often higher levels of return involve more risk. Let's summarize the steps you can take to get into the share market. 1. Get ready by learning with ASX and having a clear idea of your investment objectives and the risks. 
2. Before you place your first trade, you will need to sign up with a stockbroker. Start with an amount that you are comfortable spending on your first investment. 3. Get better by reviewing your decision making, your portfolio and keep up to date by subscribing to our newsletter, Investor Update. If you want to buy or sell shares or any other security traded on the ASX, then you will need the services of a stockbroker. Their formal title is Market Participant because they are the only people who are authorised by the ASX to participate directly in the market as buyers and sellers. All others have to deal through them and it is for this service a fee is charged. Types of Stockbrokers There are different types of stockbrokers. They go from full service organisations that will advise you on share market investment and may advise on other forms of investment when relevant. At the other end of the spectrum there are brokers who simply act as an intermediary for your buying and selling on the ASX. These are referred to as no advice brokers. An example of this is an online broker. Finding a stockbroker. The ASX website has information on the types of brokers available as well as a facility that will help you get in touch with a stockbroker suited to your needs. In deciding what type of broker you want to use, you first need to decide on whether you want advice. If you are just starting out in the share market and don't feel confident in your share market knowledge, you may value the advice of a full service broker. However, if you are interested in low cost trading and are confident in your knowledge of the share market, you may prefer a non-advisory broker. It is worth remembering that even if you enter an order to buy or sell from your computer at home, that order is going via your broker. The broker is trading on your behalf. Getting started with a stockbroker. A stockbroker will provide you with their financial services guide. This will contain information such as the types of services they can offer you, their fees and charges, and your rights as a client. Whatever type of broker you choose, you will be required to provide them with certain personal information, including your tax file number and proof of identity. If you're seeking advice, then more information will be required. This is because a broker is obligated to take into account your financial circumstances and your financial objectives. It is a good idea to write down your objectives before meeting with a broker and make sure you have the relevant documents with you. You may be required to set up a cash management account to provide money in advance of your trading. It is important that you tell your broker about any significant change in your financial circumstances or your financial objectives. Paying brokerage. Although broking firms generally do not charge a separate fee for advice, this service is reflected in higher brokerage fees on share transactions. Fees are not charged to place an order to buy or sell, but you will be charged a fee if your order results in a trade. Changing stockbrokers. You can switch from one broker to another or have more than one broker. You might need to get some advice from the brokers about how your shareholdings are set up in the ASX settlement system called CHESS. The ASX website also has information that can assist you. The CMC Markets stockbroking platform is easy to navigate, yet packed with powerful investment tools. Take some time to walk through the features available when trading domestic and international markets. Simply hover over the headings in our convenient and easy to use toolbar to select the tools or products you are looking for. All of your account details are available under the account drop-down menu. Here you can check your account information, order details, stock holdings, profit and loss info, download statements, as well as tax and portfolio reporting with the free ShareSite Portfolio Manager for up to 10 shareholdings. You can access both domestic and international markets all with one account. You can easily navigate between international markets by clicking the drop-down list on the right-hand side of the platform homepage. No matter where you are, when rolling over any stock code, 
you can access all information such as course of sales, price history, as well as research and news about the individual stock. Placing a trade is easy. In addition to selecting buy or sell from the stock menu, you can hover over the trade menu and select buy or sell. You can also use the quote panel at the bottom of the screen to find any stock you want by entering the stock code. If you'd like to buy or sell M funds, hover over the M funds section of the trade drop down menu and select the order ticket you'd prefer. Enter the stock code. Then enter the quantity you are looking to trade. There are three choices for the order instruction limit price, at market, or conditional order. With a limit price order, enter the maximum price you would like to trade at. Choose the expiry period. Then enter the trading pin and hit place order. If the market does not reach the set price, your order will not be executed and will be cancelled at your set expiry date. To execute a trade straight away, you can select an at market trade. Simply enter the quantity, then the trading pin and select place order. This way, your order will trade at the market price depending on what is on offer. Finally, there is the conditional order. In this case, you can set a trigger for the order to execute based on certain criteria or market conditions. You can choose how your order is triggered and if it's executed at a limit price or at market price. Once you have entered a stock, the stock's depth will be displayed on the right. This information provides further insight for your stock trading. If you have options trading enabled on your account, you can choose options products by going to products and selecting options. You can also navigate your way there by selecting a stock and clicking on the options tab. To apply for options trading, you must first fill in our options account form, located on the forms page of our website. At the top left, you'll find the alerts icon, where you can customize alerts for any domestic stocks based on price, status, news or volume. Alerts can be received via email, SMS or within the platform. The settings icon at the top left of the screen is where you can change personal details, market data or trade settings. We hope you have enjoyed this introductory video to our standard platform. For more information, view our other videos on different platform features or refer to our platform quick guides available within the platform. integrated online international shares functionality will give you access to a growing number of global markets all within a single trading account. Take some time to walk through the features available when trading international shares. Simply hover over the headings in our convenient and easy to use toolbar to select the tools or products you are looking for. The first time you log in, you will default to the current homepage showing Australian equities. You can easily navigate between international markets by clicking on the drop-down list and selecting a different country. Once you log off, your last selected market will show on next login. You can search all trading instruments across markets by using the search bar on the top left of your screen. Simply type in the instrument code and select your preferred match. We've included the country's flag next to the instrument code to help make this selection easier. Integrated research functionality is a key feature of our platform. You can access Morningstar and The Screener for comprehensive stock reports, market trends and risk portfolios for both domestic and international equities. Fundamental analysis including financials, company information and ratios. You can also view the Market Insights tab to read regular updates from our in-house analysts to help you further understand market movements. Efficiency is key when share trading. Stay on top of your selected stocks by building a watch list. You are able to include stocks from any market on a single watch list. Our integrated watch lists display all stocks in their local currency. For a more comprehensive view of the market, we offer a range of market data packages. You can choose from delayed or streaming data feeds. The price guides for this service can be found on the Market Data Subscriptions page. Placing a trade is easy. Simply hover over the trade menu, select buy or sell, and enter in your stock code. Choose your stock from the range of exchanges, complete the remaining fields, and select place order. All prices are quoted in the currency of the underlying equity. However, for convenience, the order ticket converts the total consideration into Australian dollars. 
the up-to-date FX rate is outlined on the ticket. You can easily track your position by selecting the Account tab. Simply hover over Account and select Stock Holdings to view your portfolio. A unique feature of our platform is that you can manage all domestic and international holdings on one page. Prices are displayed in local and Australian currency for your reporting needs. We hope you have enjoyed this international shares walkthrough. Please continue to explore the platform with the help of Platform Quick Guides. For more information, visit our website. Welcome to TD Ameritrade, where smart investors get smarter. Taking control of your investments doesn't mean doing it alone. We're committed to empowering you with the tools and resources you need to get started with confidence. This video will walk you through the five things new traders need to know how to do. Fund your account, research investment ideas, place a trade, access our education resources, and download our mobile trading app. To start trading, you first need to transfer funds to your new account. The easiest way to do this is connecting your bank to your TD Ameritrade account. To connect your bank, go to My Account tab and select Account Bank Connections. After connecting your bank account, go to Deposits and Transfers. Here, you'll find various ways to transfer money into your account. Note that after depositing money, you may not be able to trade immediately. For example, electronic deposits may take 2 to 4 business days to clear, and checks may take 4 or 5 business days. To see your available funds, go to My Account, select Balances, and then scroll down to Funds Available for Trading. After funding your account, consider researching investments. As a TD Ameritrade client, you have access to robust analysis, tools, and third-party research that can help you evaluate your current investments or find new ones. We've also got screeners that can help you find exactly what you're looking for, third-party analyst ratings, a bond wizard, and the ETF Market Center, your source for finding ETFs that may be right for you, and so much more. If you're looking for in-depth information about stocks, check out the Stocks Profile page. In addition to a quote, you can find news, charts, earnings, fundamentals, valuation, analyst reports, ratings, and more. If you're ready to place your first trade, go to the Trade tab and determine if you want to trade stocks, ETFs, options, mutual funds, bonds, or CDs. For instance, to buy stocks, select Stocks and ETFs, and the Stocks Buy and Sell page will appear. Or you can place a trade from anywhere on the site using SnapTicket. For more how-to demos and trading techniques, visit the Education Center. Here, you'll find a wide range of in-depth resources for all experience levels and trading styles. We provide a personalized learning experience tailored to you. You can choose a learning path based on your investing goals or browse our AI-driven recommendations. Be sure to check out our immersive courses, watch videos, tune into webcasts, and register for in-person workshops. Stay up to date with the latest market news with programming from our media affiliate, the TD Ameritrade Network, or visiting the Ticker Tape, our online source for market commentary and ideas from experts. To get insights delivered straight to your inbox, consider subscribing. This allows you to select topics relevant to you. And finally, depending on your style of trading, you may want to download our additional trading platforms. If you're an active trader, consider taking advantage of all the features of our powerful trading platform, Thinkorswim. And keep tabs on your accounts on the go by downloading the TD Ameritrade mobile app and Thinkorswim mobile app. If at any time you have questions, our help center can provide immediate answers or ask Ted, our virtual agent. Excited to get started? Jump in and use all the resources available to you as a TD Ameritrade client and pursue your investment goals with confidence. So I hope you guys uh, learned a thing or two in this video on how to buy and sell shares, uh, an introduction to platform. I know it's very basic. And for many of you, this isn't type of video that you want from me, but there's many people that follow this channel that are just learning and do not know where to start. And with that, I do have some news. We are so close to that number in launching Finance Uncut Insiders, which is our weekly report on our portfolio. So basically, we just report what we're investing in, our whole portfolio, what we're selling, all of our trades. So if you want to um, get that weekly report uh, and see what we're investing in, um, once again, it's not financial advice and we're not recommending you buy or sell any particular product or stock or 
trade or anything like that. It's simply for you to get an insider's view into what I'm doing, and it might help you go and do some further research. Uh, then send me an email to the email address below. Uh, once again, uh, once we hit this number, we're almost there uh, with 200 subscribers to it. We're almost there. We're now in the 190 uh, inquiry mark. Now, yes, everybody, I've received your emails. I haven't responded because um, until we get that 200, we're not going to, to launch this. So as soon as we hit that 200, I'll reply to everybody's email. We have received it. Now, once again, it's not a free uh, subscription. Uh, it will cost a dollar a day, so $365 a year. But for the launch, so if you're interested, take, take advantage of this discount. We're, we're giving a discount of 30%. So 30% off, so it's going to be $255.50 US. So that's in US dollars for an annual subscription to our weekly uh, Finance Uncut Insiders report. So once again, if you're interested in that, send me an email to the email address below. Feel free to watch previous videos where I've given a sneak peek on what the uh, Finance Uncut Insiders report is like. In fact, uh, we give a couple of stocks away for free. So even if you don't sign up, uh, you'll see a couple of stocks that we own in that report. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, once again, we do appreciate it if you hit that like button. Uh, love to see your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again on another episode of Finance Uncut. And just a reminder, the information provided in this video is for education and entertainment purposes only. Nothing on this channel constitutes as financial advice. The information in this presentation is no substitute for financial advice and all investors should seek advice from a licensed financial advisor having regard to your own objectives, financial situation and needs. Mm -hmm.